I ran the samples I collected so far. The soil sample results are in line with what would be expected in this type of environment. The samples from the above ground structures, though, I tried dating them, but the results just don't make sense. None of the typical molecular markers are present. These walls could have been made 10,000 years ago or yesterday. I could try to estimate an age based on erosion and plant growth, but I'm not sure that would make sense given how weird everything else is. Good work, Yakut. Keep at it. Okay. A couple of things going on here. Hey, you good. Explore content on a lost terminal. Forever. As Aldana known to his friend simply as Trev, never as Percy, was part of the extended lifespan project that formed the backbone of the simulation in the archive. He helped put together the hardware that made all of this possible, like Alexandra Drenham. He left behind a series of messages to the future, but unlike Alexander Drennan or Arklay Chevnensky, he was forgotten. Not one building or street in New Jerusalem is named after him. I dug up his files from the archive and I've been thinking about them a lot. So I heard that Alexandra is recording these time capsules for you out there, I guess? Robot people of the future, hi. And I thought to myself, surely they'll want to hear more than the wisdom and insight of a brilliant scientist like Alexander Drennan. Surely they also want to know what I was thinking, a dumbass hardware engineer from Staten Island. Tell us about your insights, Trevor. Why did you spend your last months on Earth helping a crazy old Russian guy build the world's biggest backup drive? Well, let me tell you my story. When I was, yeah. Yeah, yes, Frank, I'm recording right now. Uh-huh. No. Y you know what? Why don't you go... Well, that went well. Went very well. Oh, we have Golden Gates. Sort of strange locked puzzles. Looks like there is an additional set of puzzles played by Golden Gates that can't be accessed yet. Assuming there is some kind of logical pattern to all this, these gates will probably open once the correct conditions are met. Does that mean having mean solving all the other puzzles or maybe something else as well? Hard to know at this point, so perhaps we should prioritize much later. Okay. Another gold. set of golden gates. These must be connected to the ones near the megastructure. There was a harder set of puzzles in the simulation, right? And maybe they're like that. I know one case probably like, Yay, harder puzzles! But to me, that sounds like error code 704. No thanks. Okay, so I wonder if that is... the shards from Prometheus thing, or if that is the stars that unlock that. It was mentioned, you are correct. I'm just making sure you guys didn't tune in to see me solve puzzles, did you? You just tuned in to like watch me run around exploring, right? <laughs> I 
What is that? Is like a pump? It looks like... It's like a steam pump or something? Water pump? Need to turn off the question marks because I would kind of like rather um, not see them, I guess. There we go, hide question marks. I'd much rather kind of like only see things that I've discovered myself, so. Hey, it's Melville. What is it? Wait to the point. Founders Pistons. You want my autobiography now? Fine. I'm one of New Jerusalem's chief engineers. I'm in charge of city maintenance and power management. I'm old as dirt, although not quite as old as that fossil Byron. In short, old grumpy, keep stuff running. Hobbies? You think I have time for hobbies? That's cute. If I had time for hobbies, all of you would be dead. More do you want me to say? I like bubble baths, candy, and the concept of Tuesdays. Cities don't maintain themselves. If you don't put real effort into keeping stuff running, it all falls apart in just a few decades. Civilization is always on the brink of collapse unless we do something about it. And I do. I'm glad that uh, her hobby is not bubble baths, but then looking at her number, they probably still had plenty of insulating materials when they got around to building 142 so um she'd probably be all right to uh, take bubble baths if i'm honest listen one day that furry little demon is gonna pee on the wrong cable and all of new jerusalem will just turn off forget about the mega structure he's the biggest threat to our security it's big it's too big and it's got a lot of energy running through it. Frankly, I think we should be pooping our robot pants. <laughs> See, that's what I mean about the language libraries. Pooping our pants. Really? Yes, but I'm not liking the results. Confusing, irritating, infuriating. Take your pick. I did. It's interesting. The tech is a bit older, but it's been heavily modified to be more efficient. And it's not the kind of hack job you'd expect either. Whoever did this knew what they were doing. We could probably learn something from them. Hmm. I guess it could be discarded New Jerusalem tech. The mayor made us throw away a bunch of stuff that was perfectly fine, if you ask me. But I'm not sure. I'll check to see if I can find any serial numbers and I'll get back to you. I have to say I like Melville. I love the way she kind of just talks about stuff. Almost in a joking fashion. Um, okay, we've massively, like, sidetracked ourselves here from... I mean, do we have to solve the puzzles in order? I don't know. Oh, the music changed. 
I guess not. Um... We found a hidden puzzle. Interconnectivity. It's strange that some of these puzzles seem disconnected from the rest. Like it's all unfinished. Or still evolving. Alrighty. So we need a yellow and blue to, uh, yellow and blue, green and blue to open the exit here. The only thing we can really do at the moment is open that one up. So we can break this now. To open this. This is just a relay though, isn't it? So we need to get a green into here. Which we can do by doing... Okay, let's do a little swappy. And then we can move the red more into view. Coot's voice seems very familiar, but you can't place it. Almost sounds like the guy in the Taco Bell commercials. Fortunately, I cannot relate, as um, I have never seen a Taco Bell commercial in my life. <laughs> okay, so then we, what did I say we need here? We need blue and we need green. So, so, what we do here is blue onto there. And then we'll do the blue like that. Hmm, maybe not actually. I wonder if I have to go around the long way here. I think I possibly do. Okay. How many connectors have I got here? Yeah, I've got enough. I'm still a connector short there, aren't I? Uh, hold on a I could take this one round. Interesting music.
got five puzzles left for various. Your brain is somehow don't comprehend them. Very different from like all of the songs that we've heard so far, so. Interesting though, that actually counts that. Hmm. Ambition expressed by the building in the sense of purpose that I find really marvelous. It's big, but also an intricate detail that feels like a statement. To explore the building as soon as possible. Um, interesting that like, the bonus puzzle counts towards the. Um, oh my God, map. Yeah, the bonus puzzle counts towards the count. So we've only done three. But my objective is that I've done four out of eight. So that's interesting. So it wasn't. I literally run past Byron. Ah. Tell me, what did you make of New Jerusalem? Um. Yeah, it's like a museum, I thought. That's what happens when all you can think about is the past. We had such ambitions in the beginning. But now it's all turned inwards. We've lost faith in ourselves, in our humanity. All we need to do now is finish that dome and we'll be trapped in our perfectly neat little tomb. I kind of expected them just to kind of like stand still, I guess, when, um, when I was in the menus, so... Um, of course, ask away. I'm someone who was born a long time ago, when we couldn't afford to romanticize the past and demonize progress, when the value of human civilization was evident because it was so close to being gone. I'm someone who believes that human beings are important, terribly desperately important because intelligent life is rare and precious i suppose you could say i'm old-fashioned it's a mystery not just because it's technologically far ahead of us but because we genuinely don't understand its purpose and i think that's wonderful it's just what we needed as a civilization. When Alexandra Drennan was trying to find a way of creating true AI, she stumbled upon the idea that curiosity and playfulness are core characteristics of intelligence. So she built the simulation around a game, because playing is part of what makes us human. We also retain some of that code, as I'm sure you noticed when you were booting up. Because of that, puzzles have always been important to our culture. To me, they represent the idea that the application of reason can lead us forward. None of which explains why these puzzles are here or who built them, but I think it shows that there must be some kind of intent behind them, perhaps a test. Because we disagree on just about everything, you mean? Well, here's the secret. Al is honest. He believes what he believes because it seems right to him, not because it gives him power over others. I respect that. In fact, I prefer that to someone who agrees with me just because I'm one of the first companions. Yeah, interesting view, interesting point. All right, we've talked to everybody. Is that the noise of the fly, the dragonflies? Damn, they're noisy.
All right, we didn't actually like look down this um, this side properly when we were chasing the cliff thing through the water. So we'll just have a quick look, and then I promise we'll get back on track, and we'll go and uh, have a look at puzzle number four. Not be like a magpie, see shiny and gets distracted. Am I like not meant to be here and that's why I'm getting the weird water sounds? It's like I'm wading through the water even though I'm not. It really sounds like there's something like massive moving around in that water. What's that emoji LV? I can't make out what it is. I don't know, just to me it sounded more like somebody was um like there was like a large object moving through the water. So Yeah. Just to be fair, the water's pretty calm and I don't think it would make that much noise. Um, I don't actually remember too much about Road to Kahina, if I'm honest. There's another one of those monuments. What I do wonder, though, is, like, thinking about, to my limited knowledge of uh, Gehenna, sorry as they pronounce it in this game, not Gehenna, um, I almost wonder if, like, when we freed everybody in the game, whether or not they were actually... Um, other robots in other locations that have started these other kind of cities and, and bits and pieces. And I will, I'm, I'm theorizing at the minute whether Athena was aware of them and she's gone on like a quest almost to kind of go and find them. But we'll see how things play out. It's only a rough cut theory at this point. I mean, a theory, it's just me thinking about things out loud, but... Right, so there was... Where's number four? Because there was another... I thought there was another blue hand thing somewhere around here. Did I look at the monument? Uh, I did not, no. There's something to find there? Oh, hello. That needs a green laser, it would seem. I guess that's why they dropped a voice line at that point. Uh, where was... The problem is, I, I probably don't have a puzzle that's close enough to there at the minute to be able to do anything with it. Because this is all the way back at the beginning, isn't it? Jeez, this area is fast.
I don't know why I'm like I'm, I'm like going up like this like a meerkat to try and uh, see if I can see it I don't know why me craning my neck makes me do that I'm just gonna hang by for two seconds while the ad, ad plays it's nice though that Twitch has the feature where it actually tells me now in my chat that ads are running so I'm aware that people are still behind ads and um, I'll watch the action for a moment. And our ad viewers should be back. Welcome back. Yeah, I can't see that from here, so. There must be a puzzle closer that I can see that from. So we'll keep that one in the back of my mind. I think here is the other handprint thing that I was talking about mo a moment ago that I completely ran around the rest of the map to have a look at everything else. Founding. Hepatia's Journals, Volume 1, The Founding of New Jerusalem. Day 1. We finally set out for the dam today. Site so that Athena, oh, this person references in Athena. Athena and Cornelius pick for the city isn't far, but the vegetation makes the going difficult. Found the secondary supply site easy enough, though, thanks to Alexander Drennan's instructions. But while I still have to compile a detailed inventory, it seems that many of the more complex materials are in bad shape. They must have expected the simulation to fill its purpose a lot sooner, but then they probably expected all 12 of us to be here from day one, not just Athena. Tonight we have to use two recharging pods that were brought from the dam in four hour shifts, which is just as well. There's no telling what sort of critters are hiding in the undergrowth and most of them will have to learn that our kind isn't edible. Hi right, Pierce, thanks for um, thanks for hanging, I appreciate it. Have a good one and good luck with your final five puzzles. Yeah, I've got them turned down like as as little as I can. Team spend it's like one thirty second ad every sixty minutes. So, but yeah, it's, it's good that I can keep an eye on it. I know when I, when I was playing um, Out Wilds, I was manually tracking it on a timer, but I don't have to do that anymore. From the induction to Are we there yet? We came from Where we're going and why you'll need snacks by Valerie Contera Romero. Sometimes people point at the last few hundred or thousand years of human history and say, look at how ugly it is. Look at what a mess we've made. Maybe moderatory, mod, modern, modern, modernity was a bad idea. Maybe we should stick to living like cavemen. And I get it. It is ugly and messy. But the mistake is thinking that we, where we are right now is the end point. That this is the adulthood of the human species. I mean, to try and apply what you know about human development to human history, that's about babies. Babies are ugly, admit it. We all know it. They look like the tiny old people covered in mucus. They have soft heads and they grow into children, tiny sociopaths with underdeveloped brains. And then they become teenagers, pimply, self-righteous lunatics driven by hormones. And then slowly, if you're lucky, they gradually become adults. The development of the human individual is always ugly and messy, but that's the point. It's development towards something. The same applies to humanity as a whole. On a ge ge geological scale, we've barely just come into ex existence. We've gotten through the baby phase, just about survived our childhood, and we're barely teenagers. Stopping here would be disastrous and a betrayal of everything that we could still become. We may feel the weight of history on our shoulders, but this is just the prologue. Put it in pop culture terms, we haven't even made it out, out of the tutorial yet. Just because it's all pimples and hormones and frustrations right now doesn't mean it's never going to change. Yeah, I know what that phase feels like. Jeez. Got that in my household right now. Uh, for considerations of beginnings and endings by Elwyn, 258. I think all that all that time Athena spent in, dead, in the dead city changed her. I don't think she had con conceived of being of the goal before. I think she believed fully in the naive, naively optimistic ideas of Alexander Drennan. But walking through those ruins in a visceral experience, and she spent a great deal of time there looking for resources. It's the sheer amount of death that gets to me. How many animals our ancestors killed, many to the point of extinction, entire species eradicated, sometimes for the most superficial reasons. Whenever humans are arrived somewhere, death would follow. And then the great blowback, the 
deaths of billions of thinking beings, the extinction of humanity itself, is too horrific to truly imagine, but I suspect the founder spent a great deal of time doing just that. That's when she must have realized that there was no way back from to the growth obsessed, all consuming civilizations of the past. So interesting, like uh, Elwyn and um, Hypatia here both reference the founder as Athena. Also, it's quite interesting here about that it mentions that Alexandra Drennan had left instructions and secondary tertiary complexes and left instructions like for people for like the uh, Athena and her followers to go and to kind of like aid them I guess in building this civilization so I almost wonder like how many of these little pockets of resources or these locations were previously set up um because it might be a case that Athena once she's kind of like set up new new Jerusalem and got it established her actual role as the founder and the, the original kind of created recreated human is to go and repopulate civilizations all around the world. Just a thought. Just a thought. All right. Puzzles. I haven't explored that side yet, but... Where is number four? That was five in there. Four must be over here. There's a whole other area behind here that I need to uh, explore as well. Alternate Alternative option is puzzle number four. So I can see what's going to like happen here, I think. Oh, that's behind glass. That's interesting. So I'm assuming... Oh. Okay, that's interesting. So we can't connect through the glass. We can do that. And then we're going to have to pop it on the box. New take on the fan puzzle. That's pretty neat. Pretty neat indeed. Group call. And I have bad news. Still no idea what those particle clouds are, but I've managed to fix the transport system. I mean, I fixed another bit of it. Well, it goes to one more station now. Don't complain. Two stations are better than none. If I didn't know any better, I'd say it was sabotage. The whole system is a mess. Let's not make any assumptions. Yaku, what does the next site look like? It's a plateau in the mountains. Seems like more of an open area with scattered structures, less enclosed. Couldn't tell much from the drone feed. There's a lot of trees. Looks pretty, though. Okay. Keep exploring, everyone, but stay alert. Alrighty. What can we see from here? Something off in the distance over there. Now... I will... It's the sort of thing that, like kind of feel like secrets would need so I'm gonna leave that like in the air for now
Whether or not that will reset in time, I don't know. But, yeah, I kind of feel like that is the sort of thing we would need to have in the air for puzzles at a later date or to unlock secret things. So there was a puzzle over here. I don't know if it's one of the abandoned puzzles, but I did notice... Yeah, this is another one of the abandoned puzzles. I guess, like, these ones here that are knocked down like that. Elevation. Elevation. Woo-hoo! U2 pressure. Worst U2 impression ever. Um, okay. There is our exit point. over here we can open up this without using that connector can't we we don't need to use that there okay so now we've got that open there I believe yeah so we need like that to into blue, I'm going to have to use the... the way we do it. Well. Maybe not. Oh, actually, um... Oh, I did this the wrong way. Yeah, okay. Um, because... I'm going to need to elevate that one so that I can then use the cube on the button afterwards. Or we could just do that. We can just take the cube from underneath. That's uh, something. Bonus puzzle unlocked. And off it goes. Almost looks like a ladder. Okay, so... I want to have a quick skirt around this edge of this puzzle here. Strikes me the sort of place that we might find a secret, but... I guess not. The ambience here is pretty weird. It's like, it sounds like we're, there's like traffic going past. Uh, 
with the news. Long way birth, our 1,000 fire system was interrupted today by an unknown projection in the sky. This projection was identified as Prometheus, goaded New Jerusalem inhabitants as indecipherable incarnations. So the projection was traced to a remote, mysterious island. The team led by Byron Seven is now en route to find out more. Other members of the expedition include Alcatraz, Melville, Yakut, and 1K. Maya Naranibis has once again called for calm and promises that New Jerusalem will be safe as long as its citizens do not forget their ideals of the goal as set forth by the founder. All right, I know where number five is. Yakut. Through the door. Jamers. That all we've got here, just one of the RGB converters. do that because then we can use the blue with the red open the green I place it in the correct position you just upload a photo i mean technically you're right but is that i can't tell what that is how did you even manage you're you're literally taking a picture with your eyes melville i, I don't even know how to make my eyes go out of focus clearly you've never listened to one of herman's speeches some of us are busy doing actual science not just sightseeing thank you All right, puzzle six. This way. I'm guessing this way. structure. Kind of looks a bit out of place. Uh, alternative. Uh, 
Oh, that's actually pretty clever. That's pretty clever. Okay, so we have a way that we can get back. We can't stand on the wall, so we can't go out of bounds with that. Okay. So I can make a blue. Then I need the green to make the red. Okay. So the green needs to be in a position where... Let's think a minute. Like, I almost need... Actually, I need to take the red from here, not from there. That's the issue, isn't it? If I take that and that, that gives me the blue. And go to there. Then I can use the green from there and the blue from there to hit that red there. The bridge ring seems to be fully charged now. Try accessing the tower, 1K. Accessing the tower. Uh, we still got puzzled to solve. And accessing the tower, yeah. What are you saying, Melville? There it goes. I can say I can hear it somewhere. Number seven. Spell sufficiency. This sounds like bootstrapping if I ever heard it. How can I make the how can I make the green more available though, haven't I? It's just not too much of an issue. We just do that. site that we need to also power that one. Then we can use our fan. Elohim must be very proud of you, 1K. Alright. Number eight to go.
they are useful. Um, however, I would argue that sometimes I've been like looking at like where things are, and it to me it almost seems to point in the wrong direction. So, I don't know, just my opinion. Entanglement. If it's not of the quantum variety. Okay, there's a red. Red doesn't really help me too much there at the minute. This is dual powered, so we need a green on here as well. Yeah, we need to find a red. I guess, though, for now, we can start doing some of this green stuff. Uh, oh, it's not green, it's blue. All right. So we got that. Now. I feel like we're going to have more luck here if we bring out the blue. Say. Or like here. You can see it from more and more central location. We need to actually put this on there, don't we? Then we can power this. Like that. Okay. Sneaky. Okay. Maybe we don't need to do that at all. Maybe actually what we need to do is at the box. Sorry, the hexahedron. to elevate that first, don't we? I don't think, if I remember right, you can't just put connectors on fans. They have to be on a box, uh, on a hexahedron, so... Okay, so we need to... We need access to red. Okay, so... Let's, let's think about this a minute. Right, we're going to get our red here. It's another option at the minute other than to put the hexahedron here. Until we get everything set up. Okay, so, yeah, okay, okay. So, we'll take the converter. We'll connect it to red there, that one there, that there, place it there for a minute. Now we'll take this off here temporarily. And put it on the box. Oh, sorry, on the button. We'll then do that to place out there. And take this one back to here and place it on there. And I've just realized I made a big mistake. Because I also need to target 
that connected there. Now I can take this to here. Stand on here myself. That'll elevate the cube. Well, it would if I had turned the switch on. I need to get my steps in, guys. That's what it is. I haven't done enough exercise this week, so I'm just trying to get all my steps in. Weirdly, though, LB, I think, like, something I actually forgot to do a lot of time in the original, but it's come, in, it's come quite instinctively um, to me in this one, so. Uh, okay, I see something else that I have overlooked as well. We also need to add this to something else. So there's, like, unlimited connections on these things, isn't it? Okay, the reason we have to do this is because we have to repurpose that, once that's bootstrapped in the air. Just like that. solved all the puzzles in this area but nothing happened there was a brief blip in the system though maybe it'll do something later there has to be some sort of point i was wondering also Pandora Monument. Stone, he did not do so to forge a tool. He did so to smite his brother. <laughs> 